Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you snippets from our holiday that we took in Carlingford, County Loud um, and we also took a trip up to Belfast. Um, so here you're seeing the beautiful scenery that is um, of Carlingford Lock. It is stunning like absolutely stunning um definitely definitely the best scenery i've been around in a long time um when we were there there was a oyster festival happen which is why that ferris wheel was there so i hope that you enjoyed today's video there won't be um any on camera talking there'll just be voiceovers like this so sit back relax and enjoy guys We just strolled down to the marina here there was kind of this old rooms that you've just seen and also like a pier um, it was lovely just to kind of take a moment and just look at the sea and there was also people doing activities in the water um, so it was just a nice relaxing time Ava had great fun and um, throwing stones in the sea as well On one of the days we took the trip up to Belfast, um, we went to see the Titanic, the Belfast um, Museum. Um, I do have a blog post on this to let you a little bit of further insight on whether or not I think it is a good idea to bring your toddler um, and that will be linked below. So we just took the self-guided walking tour um, around this Titanic Belfast um, and I'm just going to show you some of the things that we have seen. So what I'm going to show you now are some of the last communications that the Titanic had with other boats um, in the area. Um, it was definitely eye-opening.
So another one of these runes that we found around Carlingford was the Carlingford Priory. It was a beautiful old building that has just been maintained perfectly. Um, honestly, the greenery around it has been so good and it comes with a resident cat. Actually, I don't know if this cat is really a resident or whether it's just from one of the houses around and it's just strolling around. Um, but we really enjoyed it. It was, um, it was very nice. It was just something very quick to see within the town but um, it was lovely to view. One of Ava's favourite things to do was um, when the tide was out just to stand there and throw stones. She constantly did this and her granddad was always the one who um, was dragged down there to be with her as well. Um, she would throw stones in water all day. She absolutely loves it. Another thing we did while in Carlingford was visit the beach that was literally 5-10 minutes away. Um, it was so so nice. The day we went happened to be, um, it was still and calm. Um, it was a little bit cold but um, all of a sudden this big rain cloud came over. Um, Ava loved it. As you can see she's in her wellies. She's just running around again. She's going to do her favourite thing. She's going to get to throw stones in the water and she also gets to play with a little bit of sand. Um, so yeah, really lovely beach. Um, if you're in the area definitely try and get to it. It's down like the secluded old road that's like only one car fit, can fit through but it is so so nice.
this here is uh, in Carlingford. Um, as you can see, it's like a boat that's kind of like sunk in here in the water. Um, we stumbled upon this where we just went for a walk one evening. Um, or Robert and his dad and Ava went for a walk one evening and they stumbled upon this. So um, it actually leads to a fairy garden and like a leprechaun park or something, I think it was called. Um, so this is just a walk up to it there's a lovely kind of like look outside with a um telescope that you can look over at the mountains at um so yeah it was a lovely little walk and we did this um a couple of times but this particular time when i'm recording was something like nine o'clock in the morning i'm um, on the day that we were leaving So this is the fairy garden I was telling you about. Um, you can see the magic wishing staff. Um, there's like a little house where the fairies live and um, stuff for dogs, um, like little statues of dogs and stuff. It's such a nice area. It's right on the shore of the lock and it is such a peaceful area. Well, it was when we were there anyways. Um, there was barely anybody ever there and um, we, we came to this like three times and each time we were practically the only people there um, definitely a nice free thing to do in Carlingford um, just to see something just a little bit different. And that's it guys that is today's video this is little snippets of our time in Carlingford County Loud I hope that you've enjoyed it and um, if you did I would love if you give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments which part of the video that you enjoyed um, yeah it was such a beautiful place and if you ever get the opportunity I would definitely definitely go um, we stay we rented a house um, and I will have the Facebook page of that house in the description if you're interested.
Um, I will talk to you very soon, guys. Bye.